Hello, young explorers. Today, we're embarking on a colorful journey to discover rainbows. Imagine a world where sunlight dances with water droplets to paint the sky with vibrant hues. Are you ready to dive into the world of colors? Then hold on tight. Rainbows are full of colors. They start with red, followed by orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and end with violet. Red, the first color, is like the warmth of a cozy fire. Orange follows as vibrant as a pumpkin in fall. Yellow, the middle child, is as cheerful as a field of sunflowers. Green is refreshing, like a lush garden after the rain. Blue is cool and calm, like the sea under the clear sky. Indigo is deep and mysterious, like twilight. Lastly, violet, as precious as a blooming iris. So these are the seven colors that make up our beautiful rainbows. Rainbows are born when sunlight and water droplets get together and have a little party. Picture this. Sunlight is like a bunch of party goers dancing around. When it meets the water droplets, it's like they've stepped onto a dance floor and they start to twirl and swirl. This twirling and swirling is what we call refraction. And as they dance away, the sunlight splits into beautiful colors, creating the dazzling spectacle we know as a rainbow. So next time you see a rainbow, remember it's a party in the sky. Light loves to play. It bounces, scatters, bends, and sometimes it even gets absorbed. Imagine light as a busy bee zooming around, bouncing off objects in its path. Sometimes it bends as it passes through things like water droplets, just like a gymnast bending in midair. Other times it scatters and splits into different colors like confetti thrown at a party. And occasionally, it gets absorbed, vanishing like a magician's trick. Isn't it amazing how light behaves? Do you know why we see different colors in a rainbow? It's because light scatters into all its colors. When sunlight hits a raindrop, it bends or refracts and then bounces off the inside surface of the droplet. As it exits the droplet, it refracts again, and this scattering process separates the light into different colors. Each color bends by a certain amount, which gives us the spread of colors we see in a rainbow. And that's how we get to see the beautiful colors of a rainbow. There's a fun Irish legend that says there's a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. Picture this, a mischievous leprechaun hiding his treasure where no one can reach. It adds a sprinkle of magic to our scientific journey. So who's up for a rainbow treasure hunt? We've had an amazing rainbow adventure, haven't we? Together, we've discovered the colors of sunlight, how rainbows form, and even an enchanting Irish legend. Thank you for joining me on this vibrant journey. Remember to subscribe, like, and share our adventures. See you next time, young explorers.